Conrad here at Buzz TV. You might have even seen a few seconds before this. We haven't decided yet. <laughs> we're here at the Whiskey with As You Were. Let's see. We did something with a few guys earlier. It seems like we found everybody. So we're going to dive right into this, go around the horn, introduce everyone. We're going to start off to my right. Uh, I'm Chris. I play rhythm guitar for As You Were. I'm Dave, and I play bass and back and vocals. Jeff and I'm AJ, I play drums and also back and vocals. Steven, I play guitar. Now, you're under uh, Aaron Rossi's little management thing, which is very, very, very cool thing. We're going to see you guys play in a little while. Wait, Hollywood crew, what up? You guys, a great set, you guys. Okay, now that we're, we're back to you guys, let's hear, what about the new project? We hear the CD's out. Tell me about it. Tell us. Yeah, for about a year, and we're working on uh, getting some new material together right now to be able to go back into the studio and uh, release another. Y'all, come on in, steal the beer. Come on in, steal the beer. Y'all, she's still here. That there's okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Something about a CD, I think we. I think we're talking about something. Okay. So we're we doing this again. Oh, we're still rolling. Okay. All right, let's do this. So, okay, we've had it out for a while. We're working on some new material right now. We're going to be getting back in the studio. I'd imagine sometime in the next year we'll probably have some new tracks out. People and possibly the video. But if you want something right now, if you want something right now, we can go to azureband.com. You've got videos, some music clips. You can listen to us on Spotify, Last FM, uh, a bunch of other places. You can get it on iTunes if you want to support us. We'd appreciate it. Um, There's a link right down here. Yeah. See it? Click it, hit it. What's, oh, there it is. In fact, if you hit it, if you hit us up. Um, <clears throat> You know, and you request it, we'll, we'll even sign it for you if you want to buy a CD. Right. So we'll all make sure. Yeah, sign it, mail it to you. Very hip. That's very. I'll send a picture of myself. Yeah, yeah. Special picture. Yeah, yeah. Special picture. So, a special picture. There you go. Brett Farview. Now something, <laughs> something that we have here tonight again. It's not us. It has nothing to do with the whiskey. And outside force isn't going to let us film the guys live because you know us. We shoot them right in your face, 3D. Um, since we can't do that, let's just real quick, where could someone see you? And where can we come back definitely to come see you? Because you're a band that has to be seen. So coming up on July 27th, we have Christmas in July, which is going to be happening at House Blues Anaheim. No, 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 no. Or is it Stingers? No, no. Stinger, it's in, right. we're doing it at Stingers in San Bernardino okay. this year. It's a, uh, it's a benefit show that I've put on for the last 11 years. And it's um, all, everything, all the proceeds, 100% goes to Lumber High School. I did, but you know, I didn't I didn't have the right amount of cash and they took them back. They <laughs> Well, that's a fun little edit. Um, and we'll find a way to make that look nice. But back to the show in San Bernardino. Uh, Christmas in July, it's a, it's a really big uh, benefit show that I put on, uh, that I've done for the last 11 years. Um, and it's something really special close to my heart because I want to give back to the community and um, this is something that uh, as you were headlines now for the last you know few years and uh, we have a lot of really great bands come out and play and uh, we have Santa, sexy, sexy Mrs. Claus, it's all decked out Christmas in the middle of July and it's all for uh, the Lumber Women Children's Hospital, 100% uh, of proceeds. Not, not a dime with you, but it all goes to one of the children's hospital, and it's, uh, it's a toy drive, essentially. That's it. The, you know, you guys give back. Um, a lot of bands don't see that. Um, a lot of people don't see that. But it's so cool to see that you guys get it. Um, another act that's carrying on the tradition of music, but it's nice when you get younger guys that get it. Their heads aren't swelled. They're not going, look at where we're playing, look at who we're dealing with. They're real and grounded. It's something we love, and that's why you're going to love these guys. So let me ask another question. Been together for a while. Obviously, uh, it's a tight-knit family because there's been a lot of some fun stuff off camera. How did all this, you know, form? How did you guys meet up? Or, you, or, you know, is it... 
other projects. So. Yeah, it started from a band that we were before called Relic. It was like a classic rock band, more like Led Zeppelin, Bon Jovi, if you will. Um, and yeah, yeah. Uh, back yeah, back when I was in high school, like one of my friends played guitar in this band called Relic, and he asked me if I wanted to be a drummer, and so I joined it. And just over the years, people, you know, band members change out. It's just how it goes. All these guys joined into the band and we kind of started forming into like a harder rock metal edge and we just decided, you know what, we need to ditch the old band and start this new thing, so we started up as we were. So that's kind of how the phone group came together. I love that. Now, uh, we're really good with endorsements. Um, we like getting stuff, we love promoting stuff. Anyone in the band sponsored by anyone yet? And if not... Hey, we love you, EV, if you're watching yeah, this. We like your voice. We like your voice. We love all your stuff. We are, we are sponsored uh, by Electric Voice. And me personally, I'm sponsored by Superior Vocal Health, which is the best vocal health products, absolutely bar none on the market. I mean, I have tried to dozens of them, and nothing even comes close to Superior Vocal Health. It's the best, the best. And that's their web website, superiorvocalhealth.com. Check them out. Um, we'll try to get a link on that. If not, go to our friends page or links to our friends page we'll definitely put something up there i want to check them out because i haven't heard of it but i know a few people that definitely can be turned on to it it's amazing they have some issues after a show and it might be something uh, to keep uh, their pipes going now let's see anyone man let's see say might like a sponsorship from someone they don't have yet that we could go hit 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 uh, we've been looking into some stuff, and uh, Aaron Rossi, we just signed a management contract with him, and um, he's looking at some stuff for us. Uh, Schecter's a possibility. We're keeping our fingers crossed. We have to we have Schecter products, and we, we really love to be a part of that family, so we're going to be working on that. Well, you know, we have, uh, we, you know, we have some friends with Kenner. We have some friends uh, that get some custom stuff, uh, eight and nine strings made by Schecter for us. So uh, we'll to make sure if you don't get it, we'll get Aaron the name and uh, try to drive them your way and say, hey, here's another uh, band you need to check out and maybe make something custom for them. And anything else? I'll say we've covered guitars. And, uh, for a bass, actually, uh, I personally wouldn't mind the hot hand. It's this ring that goes on your finger that's kind of like a glass fitting glove. Right. And it's very important. Never take it off. It's very close to my heart and very important. But it's actually a uh, accelerometer controlled wah pedal that you can use to bass or probably to know it. You were showing me that. Um, yeah, it's all, it's like a little this lit up ring, and I saw a band on YouTube that did a Skrillex cover, and the bass player was doing like it, it was cool. Yeah, yeah, it's a glowing, like some glowing thing on his thumb, but it looked cool. It's it's kind of got the same technology the phone have, where you tilt it and it detects that. It's kind of like detects movement like that. So hot hand, we definitely know what to do. Oh, uh, for me, for drums, I definitely want uh, Pro Mark Sticks, what I'm going for, and uh, Zildjian Cymbals, because both um, are expensive and both break a lot, so I would definitely like to get an endorsement with them. I've used Zildjian ever since I became a drummer. I've used other cymbals, I just never like anything, so I can buy far the company I want. And when we're going into guitars? Uh, Dunlop guitar picks, or uh, Ernie Ball strings. Ernie Ball strings, and again, check your guitars, can't leave those guys out. So, last question. Anything that I left out that the world needs to know? We're all awesome. Wow. Where, 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 I have time. We started from this. We built it into something really special. We're going to hit the world. We hit some... Uh, we're not stopping anytime soon. Well, that's a good thing. We've, uh, you know... If we're in from Southern California, so the... Uh, it was kind of against us from the start because doing rock in Southern California is like, I don't even know. Yeah, a lot of people come in from. I mean, it's like, it's like what? Brian Cowboy and Sai and Nicki Minaj and the Lumineers and crap like that that are just processed junk food for your ears are big. And you got a rock band that's just straight hands on, not all computerized, straight right in your face, kick you in the teeth, live show, like. Not playing a bunch of tracks and syncing and their mic doesn't come on uh, in between songs. When you hear our CD, when you hear our CD, what you hear is what you get. And, you know, I mean, you're not, it's not even just 
saturated with auto tune and all this craziness it's like it, what you hear is what you get well that's how you judge a band i mean I, you can make anyone sound good in the studio absolutely can't make them sound good live and if it's tracks you why am i paying 50 bucks to that's i'll sit home my you know voice. that's 100 percent this voice, just so. in steven likes Nicki minaj yeah i was kidding mm -hmm. it's kind yeah, of nice i'm not gonna lie i like looking at her but i definitely don't kidding. like listening to her you know i can't wait till my phone rings during an interview that's <laughs> when my kid no when my kid calls Oh, no. You got Rebecca Black on? No, my kid's ringtone is uh, Circus, Britney Spears. Oh, beautiful. So people will look at me until they go, okay, it's your daughter, you know, but right away, every time it rings, people look at me, I go, you're right. Yeah, what's the lady you know? goes off when he calls me. Still? Well, is that, is that yeah, on the phone or in your that's, mind? That's well, a guilty a pleasure of mine. I, I think Lady Gaga. <laughs> lady Gaga. Cool. She's pretty talented. Yeah. She can sing for sure. She's she's pretty amazing. Anyone that doesn't use auto tune has a bit of my respect at least. Yeah. Because <laughs> most things these but days have auto tune. It. Yeah, it's all, exactly. You can even use a little of it. That's fine. But well, I mean, yeah, saturated in the right the places. Album with it. You know. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's, just, it's it's kind of nice to be part of a project with people that believe in in bringing back what honesty is left in music. Um, yeah, you know, we like. we pour everything we have into what we do, and you know the words you hear. And our songs are the truth. You know that's that's how we feel. Like, like like Jeff said, you know, what you hear and what you see is what you get, and that's just that's it straight up. It's it's what we love to do, and it's we're all on the same page as far as that goes. So, you know, we, we push each other to get to the next level and to do what we can to to keep as honest as we can and true to our music. And we think that you know our fans and our friends and you know the people that have helped us get to where we are, they they deserve that at the very least. Well, now there's going to be a whole new you know group of people that are going to see you check you out might not have heard about you gonna love you like we do unfortunately we can't play the set tonight because again other issues we'll be doing that real soon and we'll catch up with you on another day to get it in fact the san bernard san bernardino date looks like something we definitely could come in and do we, um, i know uh, you're you're leaving to oregon to go shoot another band but um on friday we're going to be doing a, a show opening up for smile empty soul which was cool. They got a hold of us and wanted us to do um, very nice an opening act for them, along with um, another band with some guys we know and Divide the Day. Um, they're currently on Warner, so it's going to be a really big show, and we're really excited to do that. So well, you know, we see that big things are happening. Um, really big things will happen with you guys. Obviously, Aaron's found you and loves what he sees, and he doesn't back losers. Aaron's awesome. He you know. He believes in us and better. he backs us and it's it's awesome to have someone who, who's been in the music industry knows what's up to be like these guys have what it takes and to believe in someone like that it's just it really it's got a good uh, well you know that's why we're here it's we spoke to Aaron a few weeks ago in Vegas um, part of the conversation was hey you know I'm managing some bands and I'm like okay because doing something in uh, at the whiskey gave me the date and I'm like well, we're going to book that thing, and we'll be here just to check them out. So we actually came to see you guys, and oh, wow. that's why we're here. Um, we did some things last night, which was just um, a magical thing that fell together, but that was not the trip. This was the trip. That was, oh, we could come a day early and do that as well, but everything was planned for this night. That's why are we, you know, we're really bummed about this outside force that we'll just call it an alien type thing because we don't <laughs> like that sort of crap that screwed us. Um, yeah, the aliens, damn it. Hollywood shenanigans. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that, you know, I'm almost thinking that might be a name for a band somewhere down the road. Hollywood shenanigans. That probably is. You Copyright right Hollywood now. Shenanigans. Yeah, they're, they're, I'm saying that's it. Copyright it now because some of you look, it'll be on a website soon. Yeah. Tomorrow. Well, look, we're going to cut this, let these guys get ready for this blistering set we know we're going to see. B Rad here, Buzz TV. As you were. As you were. As you were. See you guys. Peace. B Rad here, Buzz TV. Oh, 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 something fun again. Polywog crew, we're at the whiskey. Now, here's something Beastie Boys tribute band, so to speak, endorsed by the Beastie Boys. That's fucking insane. So, first, we're going around the horn. We're going to introduce the fellas to you. Then, we're going to dive right into this. My name is Jeff D. And you're known as? Jeff D. Jeff D. Hey, I'm D-Rock. And D-Rock. I'm MCJ. All right. Polywog crew. So tell me a little about yourselves. First, how long have you guys been together as this unit? Uh, we came together uh, last year around the August time, right after the death of uh, MCA. And uh, particularly for that reason alone, 
because we felt we weren't going to see the Beastie Boys perform as a trio anymore. Um, we just kind of we were huge fans, and we wanted just to kind of keep that, the music, and you know, basically the swagger and and, and the and everything that they bring still alive on stage for people to see. Very cool. And uh, let me ask a question: based in this area. We are based in Los Angeles. Very cool. And how did you guys hook up with the Beastie Boys themselves? Um, well, we actually, you know, the thing is, is that we hooked up with mainly the one of their photographers that shot the first album, uh, License to Ill, Sunny Back, Bach. I'm sorry, I keep, sl sl you know, slandering her name. It's terrible. Anyhow, Sunny, good friend of ours. She's an awesome photographer. All her stuff's from License to Ill. Um, and she and, and us, we did this show together where her photographs were exhibited and we performed that day. And we were very lucky to have a lot of the Beastie Boys, some of their close friends attend the show. Um, uh, and a lot of them just had really nothing but nice things to say about us. And I think basically that was uh, kind of like the endorsement in a sense, but it wasn't really from the Beastie Boys, it was from an extension of the Beastie Boys. And uh, just to kind of clear that up, I don't know if any any guys want to add to that. No, but see, it's still it's a very cool thing because the family loves what you do, and when they see that, it's like tells people, wait, these guys are the shit. They're not, you know, people just trying to do something that was nice. They actually have their shit down and they're worth seeing. Again, there'll be a link right down here to them. So, click the button. Now, is there a CD out right now or any music so when they click that button and we send them somewhere, mm -hmm. are they going to be able to find something, download it, buy it, own it, play it over and over and over and over and turn more people on to you guys? Oh, I'm sorry. No. On our website, there is the MCA Day Los Angeles we just did. You get a taste of the show and a really beautiful dedication to Adam Yauch. And there's just some other clips on there, but not full CDs yet or nothing like that. Now is something like that in the works? Are we actually thinking of Absolutely. putting something hard down? Absolutely. So we're definitely going to stay in touch with you guys and follow all that. And again, you're definitely you're working with Aaron Rossi. Aaron's doing some mad shit, yo. So check these guys out. So we'll definitely do that. And again, we've been working with Aaron to get you know, his people and other people in general to some really nice venues in Vegas because there's some pits out there. Um, I won't mention them, but I'm pretty sure if we, I could name a few bands I can. Um, and we don't want you guys to play there, but there's some really nicer places um, that are made just for this. You know, again, I'm going to plug Count Advamped. Um, this is from Count's Custom Cars. So I don't know if you've seen his show, but um, he's got a really nice club that's built around music. It's not, oh, I got a bar and I serve food. No, there's a stage. It's, I have a stage. Oh, by the way, we'll serve you some drinks and food too. Nice. So nice. we'll definitely get that out. We want to throw a shout out to our DJ who is late, but you know, DJ Lou he's Man, setting right now. he's setting up his equipment and he couldn't be here right now because of this. But, um, you know, if you're watching this and you'll shout out to you. And you'll see there's a fourth guy that wasn't here and now right. you know why. And again, the MC's one DJ. Yeah. Ooh, fun, fun, fun. Yes. I definitely like that. Now, again, here's the little thing with the whiskey tonight. It's not the whiskey. It's not us. There's an outside force. We really can't talk about it. That's why we're not going to be able to show them live tonight. We spoke to Aaron, so we know that we'll be coming back to catch some live footage as yeah. well because the, the interview in 3D looks good. But, but three MCs and a DJ on stage in 3D? You can't oh, beat that. That's insane. I was going to ask you, is this Manic Panic or Kool-Aid? A little of both. Oh, come on, man. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. We've known Aaron for... Aaron was in a group with us many years ago, Dino and I, and it was really cool. And he was 18 years old, or 19, and he was, at that time, one of the most phenomenal raw drummers you could ever here and then for him to progress to what he's doing is just amazing so a lot we're very proud of Aaron so. you know what Aaron's very proud of you guys because uh you know when we we're talking to him in Vegas the whole purpose of us being here was to cover his bands tonight nice. um we were lucky enough and do, did some stuff with Motorhead and Anvil and the amazing Nick Kai last night but the whole purpose was being here and coming a day early was just a bonus, but catching you guys. So hey, real quick question. Obviously I can't shoot things tonight. Upcoming shows, 
let's plug some of those and this way I might even know about one or two because we're coming back next month to do some stuff and we could always tweak a date if we need to because again we want to see you live not just talk to you right well we actually have this really wild show um, Saturday actually Sunday morning at 2 30 a.m. at this place called the overpass and what's the date now, is that this Sunday yes, yes. Now, yeah, let 19. me just say this much because this place is kind of on the hush hush because you know it's uh, after hours and there's a lot of you know things that happen in after hours that shouldn't happen during it's hours exactly um, and uh, anyhow it's gonna be a wild night Jay is going to provide um, private lap dances after our set yes oh hell yeah no, yes. I, I'm just kidding no, damn it I'm going home no. and I'll be in Oregon on Sunday <laughs> no, he's, he's not but we're gonna be you know doing our set it's gonna be really he's nice not. no but Jeff is so. As long as I'm getting one from somebody, I don't care, but, you know. You. But I got you. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's right. So, you guys, Aaron is also, he's got a really big show May 31st at the Malibu Inn, and it's going to be a lot of the same acts tonight, and it's going to be a very nice show. Oh, show. you know, I think I saw something about that, and if I'm right, there's another act that maybe might be able to get in the country and that, that's on yes. that bill as well. Um we want Russians, right? Yeah, some some fun, crazy Russian boys. I've heard about them. Um, and in fact, it was funny because one of our sponsors and really good friends, um, Joan Soda, the Joan Soda family, they're just great people. I have something waiting to give to these guys. Um, they did something like that with Adelius Way. But um, so, damn it, get in the country, guys. Because um, if not, I'm going to drink it. Because uh. <laughs> I love the flavor. Um, so let's see. How long is the set tonight? About a half an hour. Half hour? Three MCs and a DJ? Come and punch them real quick, like Rocky IV. You there know, you go. Just go knock them out. And hit, hit them hard, leave them, leave them stunned, leave a few them on the more. floor. and leave that, them want more. That's how it always is. That's the best way to do it. Leave yeah. them wanting more, remember your name. Yeah. But last question. Anybody endorsed? Do we have endorsements for the Polywog crew? People to plug? Well, you know, has anyone given you stuff and we got to thank them hard for it? And if not, is there anything you want from somebody? I want, I want sponsorship from Red Bull, Adidas. Give a shout out to the basement, 818. That's all it takes. There you go. And I want to give a shout out to uh, Aura Walker, um, Sonny Bach, Say Adams, the whole Beastie Boys, we're Polywar crew, and I want to give a shout out to my son, even though Uncle Dino makes a bunch of bad, dirty jokes. I want to give a shout out to my son. Very cool. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to Serenity. I can use some of that. Okay, Serenity, Red Bull, come on. We all drink Red Bull. Well, when I'm not drinking the Coors Light, but I live off that shit too, so. Don't forget Adidas. My main squeeze, Don Schillinger. Oh, there you go. Polywog Crew, B Rad, Buzz TV. Gotta check these guys out. The link's right down here. See, I moved the beer this time. <laughs> right here's the, the link. See you guys. Peace! You might remember this one. If not, don't forget us. We are Motorhead. Yeah. And we play rock and roll.
Hey, he's 